today's adventure takes us to Chestnut Hill, Tennessee, just outside of Dandridge, and about a 20 minute drive from Pigeon Forge to Bush's Best. Yes, that Bush's Best, you know, the commercials with Duke and Jay. Well, all that goodness is made right here in East Tennessee. First, we're gonna visit their all new visitor center for their grand reopening. We're gonna show you what's new, and then we're gonna head over to the Family Cafe to get a bite to eat. So if you love Tennessee, you love food, stay tuned. So across the street from the museum is the factory where they make Bush's best original baked beans. It's all made over there. They even make the cans that the beans go into. Of course, that's the family homestead. Generations of Bushes lived in that home. And here is the museum. A.J. Bush and Company General Merchandise. at the Bush's Best Family Cafe and there's quite the wait to get inside but the food here is phenomenal I can't recommend it enough uh, so their hours for the general store is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and the cafe is from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday closed on Sundays so this is the Bush's 1940 Ford truck and uh, it's always parked out here in front did you know every night they get the truck and they put it away in the garage at the family home. Grand reopening. And it's located here in beautiful Chestnut Hill, surrounded by rolling hills. They just got done renovating it not more than two weeks ago and we're gonna take you in and show you what's new in fact pretty much everything is new in the museum oh they've changed it used to be a great big can that used to walk through that's that's gone now there's just a lot more history so this here is the uh, Bush's family Bible that's really really cool Bush's family beginnings. AJ and Sally raised four boys, two girls, in the family home across the street. So they have some of the original canning process here, some of the tools they would use. Now well, there's an old ration kit there. Caramels, they had uh, Nubisco graham crackers. Just some of the uh, what the troops were carrying. And here's the original office chair that A.J. Bush used. So on the walls here, they talk about the history and the development of Bush's baked beans. So you'll have to come here for yourself and take in all of the great um, memorabilia here. You know, they got some uh, some old uniforms and but it's really cool. 
I like what they've done. Yeah, they even have a mock-up refrigerator in a kitchen. It looks like it's from the 50s. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Ah, and there's Jay and Duke themselves. It's a great photo op, Don. You have to get over there and, and meet. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you get your family photo taken right here. You got Jay and Duke and <laughs> give it a thumbs up, right? I love this photo. You can see all the trucks rolling into Chestnut Hill to pick up their their load of Bush's baked beans. So they have integrity, responsibility, trust. Must be their, their slogan. There's an old canning machine. They used to do it by hand. One at a time. Of course, you got to open the cans when you get them home, and there's all kinds of of can openers. They have a little movie here where they walk you through the bean making process. You weigh 237,795 beans. <laughs> That's a lot of beans. That is a lot of beans. <laughs> you know, um, what do they say? Uh, you are what you eat. Well, <laughs> so I'm going to step on and see what I weigh in beans. Uh, 258,133 beans. And they talk a little about a bike weighs 24,700 beans. Uh, Duke, Duke weighs 53,600 beans. And the truck out front weighs 2,450,250 beans. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Honk if you want the secret recipe. You know, Don, you remember those commercials? Yeah, they're, they're great. So in one of the commercials, they said, well, when pigs fly, and I think Duke strapped uh, some wings and that on that pig, and he, he made him fly, didn't he? <laughs> he did, he did, he did. Even all the seating is shaped as a bean. Don was pointing at us like, that looks like a bean. I go, I go, you're right. It does look like a bean. Of course, there's a huge uh, bean right behind you. I mean, it's about as big as your, your car. Yeah, so they got some interactive things you can do. How many beans do people eat? About 23.2 pounds of canned beans per year. So these here are navy beans. And they're like white in color. Of course, black beans are, are black. Well, Dawn, I think we're going to be coming back. There's something new here that they're just adding. And all their beans come from all over the United States. Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota, um, Arkansas, Texas, California. Dawn's always saying, garbanzo beans, garbanzo beans. Well, here they are. That is really... Oh, that's what they look like. Beans, but other people call them chickpeas. They chickpeas. Hummus. Oh, they make hummus? Yes. Simple ingredients. Beautiful beans are based for hummus. Another reason you gotta love the bonzos. I, I never knew that. Never knew that. So we're, we're learning quite a bit about beans today. Thank you for sharing it. Now, one of the best things about the museum is they have a really unique gift store with all kinds of great items. You can do some grocery shopping here. $1.10 for black eyed peas. And that's a good, a good price. They also have uh, Crowder peas. Uh, they're all $1.10. They also have the... Um, uh, chili beans for a dollar forty-four, and this is where we come to get our beans to make chili. We actually come right here to get it. The garbanzo beans, Don, uh, or chickpeas. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to make our own hummus one day.
That'd be a fun um, little thing to do. Oh, Dawn, they have those bean dips that we were seeing in the museum there on that interactive wall. They got the spicy black bean. $1.99. They also have an, a habanero lime. I like these these bowls. $10. That's a that's a pretty decent size heavy heavy bowl. You can put your your chili in there or soup, yeah. Oh hey there bean spouts. I know a secret. I'm not afraid to share it. Okay, maybe a little duke. <laughs> Duke Duke is uh starting a little trouble, isn't he? Yep. No. Yeah, what is that? It's that for a cup holder and you put it on your car so you can eat. Like a tree. Yeah. Oh well here. Drink it says here. Plates. Tailgating must have drink and plates. Carry a drink and a meal in one hand and not spill the beans. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what it is. Beans. So you can put your drink and your beans. <laughs> oh yeah. I can I can see it now. That's looks like a car holder thing, like a hop. Yeah, it does look like a little bit like the car hop, the but car no, it's hop. so you can go and sit out there and by the campfire and just uh, tailgate, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Duke Christmas ornament, and they have the Bush's truck. I love the original style myself. Um, it's nothing beats it. Brown sugar, that's really good. Um, maple cured bacon is one of my faves but just the original and they're not badly priced here so you can take a, a case of these things home with you and they're cheaper than what they are in the store they always have really unique decor I don't see anywhere else here's a like it's a bee right it's like a little hook you can like you know place that on the side of your house and maybe hang your brooms or maybe like a yeah or a hat or, or whatever Oh yeah, pardon the weeds. I'm feeding the bees. And uh, here's the old general store counter. Oh wow. I've always liked this counter. It's just, uh, you know, just imagine coming here back in the day and doing your grocery shopping and say, hey, I need a, you know, I need an ounce of this or an ounce of that. And then they would weigh it up here on the scale on this uh, Detroit scale oh, you know go in here and say hey i need uh you know 12 ounces of tobacco or whatever and they would weigh it up and no cats are allowed on the couch just kidding it looks like um duke is up to no good over here yet again doesn't want the cats on his couch <laughs> yeah oh wow these are really cute he's always uh starting trouble isn't he he is he is uh, oh, look at these little kitties though playing with the the yarn Put your pot on the table to be served Oh, we got chickens and butterflies oh, There's uh, some four-leaf clovers there And my my grandmother had these placemats growing up. I mean similar not these exact ones but I love these ceiling fans and they're ran by a belt throughout the whole store and these little motors turn them blessed and happy together I love that you see that well they got a lot of unique things these are unique too what do you do with the bathtub well you can put your sponge in it oh your sponge or yeah. soap dish tub yeah, or a soap dish yeah I'd put a sponge in there. That's what I do. It ain't for butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for butter. Yeah, that's uh. Oh, look at these pickles. They're okay. like they're dancing. You got the Mister and Mrs. Uh, and who didn't grow up with some beam bread? Oh, there's. We got moon pies too. <laughs> <The> chicken lamp. <laughs> yeah, a whole set of them in here. Decently priced. It's batter whipped. I think these are new. They're decorative cans. Of course, Clinton was a brand of Bush at one time. So you can put these like maybe in those glass shelves and just do a little decorating around the house. And you gotta get yourself a, a plush Duke.
I've always thought these were super unique. There's a t-shirt in this can. Yeah, it's a 100% cotton short sleeve shirt. And this one here is a medium. Yeah, they're twelve ninety nine. I mean, you can't go wrong at all. This is a three X. That's a three. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, three X. But you you can't find that anywhere else. You know that that's really unique. Can make a great gift, even maybe a gag gift for someone. <laughs> yeah, it's a T shirt, right? You know, if you watch us, you'll see Don wearing that T shirt. It's one of your favorite teas, right? One of them. They have a southern fried bologna sandwich for nine dollars and you can't go wrong uh, with these prices um, just think you're eating right here where they make bushes baked beans and this is where we bring our family when they visit the smokies dawn gets the chicken tenders every single time we're here and these are not your average chicken tenders these are hand breaded all white chicken uh, take like chicken breasts. This is the bean of the day. It's a it's a Tuscany style bean. They always do the bean of the day, right? <laughs> and it's always different different styles, different you know kinds. Yeah, kind of like a a test, but not really a test. <laughs> um, Just enough to test it. Yeah, it. it smells really good though. It looks looks really really good. So I ordered the meatloaf with mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. And uh, I'm excited for this. Now, I was going to order some Bush's beans, but I said, no, I want I, their mac and cheese is really good here. I wanted, I wanted to get some of that and the mashed potatoes with gravy. you got to have mashed potatoes with gravy, right? So what did you order? Chicken tenders. I knew that. Um, sweet potato french fries. And I think I got mashed potatoes. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Well, go ahead and do your shot. <laughs> shot of beans? Well... I mean, this is a pretty good size sampling here. The worm. Yeah, this is their their new style. The Looks Tus like their bonds are Yeah, it's, like, it's, a, it's a Tuscany style. <laughs> it is better in something like a dish of chili. It's just the beans straight up out of the can, yeah. yeah. I think it tastes better with chili. Everything tastes better with chili. <laughs> I'm gonna try these beans, and I like this part because you get to try something new uh, that Bush has got out. So it looks like it is a a, 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 a garbanzo bean. A garbanzo <laughs> bean is really what it is. Or a chickpea. Or a chickpea, right? That can make hummus. Yeah. You get a little bit of the um, a little bit of the of the, of the sauce on there. I like it. It's a little bit sweet. Um, I really do. I like it like the way it is. And just like that, it is here. So I got a roll, um, some mac and cheese, some mashed potatoes, and look at that meatloaf. <laughs> and a big dab of butter. And Dawn, what did you get? Chicken tenders, a dinner roll, sweet potato french fries. Sweet potato fries. Those are good. They smell good. Yes. And potato, mashed potato and butter. So you got two different types of potato, right? Look at those chicken tenders. They're they're not little. They're huge. They're, they're literally chicken breasts. And um, they're breaded and, and fried up. You got some honey mustard over there. I know those chicken tenders are good. Maybe you'll let me have a piece yeah. of that. I'll give you a piece of that. That meatloaf, yeah.
Look at the size of that tender. <laughs> it's huge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh yeah, it's like all white meat. And we've, we've ate here a lot of times, um, and it's kind of odd. We just want to dig in because we know it's good. It's always been good. There's that meatloaf. Oh, it smells really, really good. Mm. Yes. And there's the mac and cheese. Very, very creamy. It's more cheese than mac. There's that mashed potatoes. It's a red skin uh, mashed potato. The mashed potatoes is where it's at. Uh, homemade, no doubt about that. The meatloaf's homemade. The mac and cheese is definitely homemade. It's really good all the way through. You can definitely tell the potatoes are made. Chicken tenders are made from scratch. They're always good here, so that's why I always get them. The sweet potato fries are always good too. The chicken tenders are so flaky, it just flakes right off. This is definitely one of the best chicken tenders you can get here in the Smokies, by far. The chicken tender is so hot I had to use my fork to hold on to it. Yeah. Mm. These are the sweet potato fries. Of course, they're super sweet, almost kind of like a dessert tasting. This is our famous pinto bean pecan pie. I did say pinto bean. <laughs> Look at that. So it doesn't taste like beans, trust me. Uh, you have to get it when you come here. It's it's just something uh, it's very unique uh, to here. Of course, I got a little little scoop of, of ice cream. Now you you ordered uh, chocolate uh, pinto pinto I can't say it today pinto bean pie. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try that out. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, the But look at look at that. I mean, the smell is just out of this world. It is, it is. This is just like the other one, but this is a chocolate pinto bean pecan uh, pie. They say it almost tastes like a brownie. Yeah, it tastes like a brownie? Of course, you gotta get the vanilla ice cream to go with it. Yeah, you do, you do. Go ahead and try that out. Let's see. Let's see what this is about here. Taste the chocolate in it. So it's really chocolate. Mm -hmm. Pecan. Yes. Very, so. very flavorful. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm going to get into this. Of course, we still have the traditional. And don't let the beans scare you away because I know everybody's like beans in a pie. That doesn't make. No, it's really beans good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really good. I highly suggest checking this out. If anything, you could come here and just get this, you know, like come here and get dessert. Uh, but I would highly suggest getting lunch because it's really that good too. So we were over at the museum earlier and we'll call him the boss man. Um, he, uh, he recognized us and uh, he, so we got to do a tour 
a private tour of the house across the street, but we didn't film that for you because uh, we didn't want folks to get confused that it's not part of the tour, it's not part of, um, but they do open it a couple times a year and we will um, do a video on that uh, when they do open it for a special week. Um, well, he also has brought us out one of their new um, things. It's a lasagna and it's made out of the Tuscany uh, beans and what he was... Yeah. 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 It's garbanzo. garbanzo beans or chickpeas I guess you would say every day you come here they'll have like a daily dish and they want to get more into how you can use beans uh, in different dishes and this is an example of that the boss man brought us out some lasagna he wanted to tr us Fresh to try beans. it yeah it's got a garbanzo bean now this is that new <laughs> you, you always find a chuckle in the gonzo bean, right? I don't know why. <laughs> but anyways, there's the yeah, there's the bean in there. But they wanted to incorporate more beans into, you know, some daily specials and things like that. So they're always trying new things here um, so they can keep a fresh menu. And then that's really cool. It's really, really cool. I'm going to try some of this lasagna. And then I'm taking the rest home because... I'm just so full. Mm. That is real pleasant. Um, the beans, I think, add to it. And um, it, it is. It's really good. Wow, who would have known? You can add beans can to, to lasagna. Yeah, I can taste it. <laughs> Visitor center is now open. Uh, they've really changed the inside. So if you visit here before, now is the time to revisit. And if you've never been here before, I highly suggest to get here. Uh, it doesn't cost nothing. It's, you know, there's not many things that are free uh, anymore. And here's a place you can come and uh, it's free to walk to the museum. Also, they have a really nice cafe, which we showed you in the video. Uh, and the prices are reasonable there you know uh, the Bush family wants you to visit and um, and learn about their business learn about those beans that we all have grown to love over the years and um, so it's all new what did you think Dawn? I was excited to see the new museum they did a good job on it they did they did so uh, we were in there and we'll call him the boss man because he is the boss man uh, he, you know he say hey Will and Dawn and so we did take a little tour a private tour of uh, the Bush family home. We didn't film any of it, but we're gonna be back around Christmas time when they do open the home up for people to tour. They do it a couple times a year and uh, we'll, we'll show you then. We didn't wanna get people confused that the home was open for tours. Uh, and yeah, and they also, <laughs> they gave us uh, uh, some gifts here. Gifts of uh, bean. <laughs> Gifts of joy, and that is beans. Be beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat. We like beans. But anyways, um, first off, when we were over doing a little tour of the home, I got this booklet. And it just talks about the um, history and about the renovation. They went through a, an extensive renovation. So anyways, they gave us a little bit of all of the good stuff. And wow. Maybe I mean, we can make a video on that, taste testing. Uh, yeah, they got a little bit of chili mac. Chili magic, right? Chili magic. It's magic. They're starters, right? <laughs> it's magic. Yeah. And some refried beans. We're going to be having some Mexican night coming on here shortly. Um, we got some sidekicks. Sidekicks is their new. Oh, th wow, there's that. That's it. Um, That's the new Tuscany. Tuscany. Uh oh. So this is that new Tuscany uh, gonzo beans, and um, we tried that. Those are pretty good. And they were good. So yeah. I'm glad that we got our own, our own can. It of says bring that. pizzazz to the um, to your table. Pasta salad. I never thought of pasta oh. salad. I I thought it'd be tasted good in chili. You know what? We should make a pasta salad and put that mm -hmm. in there. I feel like I'm a spokesperson for them, but um, you know, and the thing is, is that. I do support Bushes because they're a, they're a family-owned company. 
They support this community here. And uh, they give back to their community. Like they, in the museum, they had a little thing dedicated. They do so much. And just kind of like, like Dolly does for Pigeon Forge and, and Sevier County, you know, A.J. Bush and company, you know, they do for my hair. So that's Oh, really so that cool. is for chili. And I got another bag here. You got a bag. So I'll go through mine. Can't go wrong <laughs> with beans. Of course you got your <laughs> t-shirt. Oh, I got a t-shirt. Well, Dawn always wears her, her bean t-shirt. And then we got spicy black bean dip. I think it's a dip, bean dip. Yeah. We'll have to try that. We'll have to get some get chips. Get some chips. Mm, sounds good. Black bean dip. One's spicy and one's just regular. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Um, another black bean dip. Wow, they're really into the dip. <laughs> that's good. I, 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 like I wish I was gonna. I would want to try. We'll do like one. a live stream. And then we'll... Original baked beans. You know what? That's where it's at right there. <laughs> that alone doesn't matter. All the other flavors. Chili Mac. So this one's Chili Magic, Chili Starter, Hearty Health Heat, Tender Pinto Beans, and a Hot Chili Sauce seasoned with aged peppers from Seekers. It's got Louisiana hot sauce in it. Yeah. So there's different types of flavors. There's a mm -hmm. lot here. And they, they gave us a little bit of each so we can try them this out. This one's Chili Magic Campfire Style. Yeah. It's got like a medium heat to it. And yeah, they have come a long way, you know, just with the right, you know, the regular uh, beans and, and green beans and anything else. And there's something in the bag. Oh, wow. We got a um, Dude. rolling that beautiful bean footage is bushes. Visitor Center magnet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He can go in the refrigerator or in the office. Yeah. Oh, they gave us beans. The um, <laughs> yeah. peppermints. Yeah, they gave <laughs> us the little peppermint. Um... <laughs> I think they're um, mints. Well, they're kind of like light. They're, yeah, they're like mints. I guess we can that open one. Is cool. I want to give a big thanks to all the folks here at Bushes. They were just super nice uh, they always are uh, the new renovation is open so if you guys have not seen it highly recommend if you've been here once before do it again because uh, it's all new it's all new mm -hmm. I learned more about beans I learned more about the the company and the family now than I did before I think they did a great job at the uh, renovations on the inside it's very spacious now if you noticed and um, yeah it was great it was easy to follow you know you didn't like bore you to death but that's gonna do it for today here in chestnut hill if you guys like this vlog give, give it a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up also please subscribe if you have it and until next time thanks for watching bye everyone, bye, everyone.